Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hi, guys. Kathy back here. Um, we've got some messages for you here tonight. Some more messages. <laughs> and um, this one, the uh, Jennifer on our team, our beautiful sister, um, she had an amazing dream. And um, we did a lot of breakdown on it. So I'm going to read the dream. And then I'm going to just tell you the some of the interpretation we got and some of the possibilities that we have okay that the lord kind of that we believe that the lord kind of pointed out to us okay so she says i'm in my grandmother's bedroom with my grandmother and sister i admired my grandmother she was strong a country woman who was very self-sufficient i felt safe with her there as a child because the bedroom was strictly her space my sister and i were young girls I was talking to my grandmother when I suddenly started speaking loudly in tongues. My sister grabbed me from behind and held me in a hug. I am still speaking in tongues in the dream. And I understand that some of the words I'm speaking are Italian. I scream a blood curdling scream and keep speaking in tongues. Then I stopped speaking and the scene changed. I now see words written on a stone wall. I start reading the words, but I do not read or remember all the words. It started with, I taught you all knowledge and understanding myself, but now I am going to shake the world and everything in it. The people I saw were all dressed as in biblical time clothing. They were There were now people and the Roman soldiers listening and the soldiers were amused at the writing on the wall. One Roman soldier was standing in front of a stone fortress. Everything started shaking. The fortress wall behind the soldier fell and a gigantic elephant walked out with huge tusks. It stabbed a soldier through with a tusk in through the back, lifts him up off the ground and begins to shake its head violently so that the man who was still alive at the moment is now bleeding profusely and then his body rips right apart from the shaking which of course kills him then everyone is running away from the elephant trying to hide a teenage girl runs into a large tent to hide from el from the elephant she goes to she goes to an inner room within the tent and sits down a young man comes in and sees her and because the lord was not angry with either of them he started speaking, speaking to them gently, but then she woke up. Then I woke up. Okay. So let me, I'm going to start at the beginning because there's a few parts here. So, um, I wanted to explain the part. So she started speaking in tongues, which means of course, God's beginning to show her some revelation. Okay. And then it says, my sister grabbed, she says, my sister grabbed me from behind and holds me in a hug. So what that showed me immediately, though, and this is when we were walking through it, is that her sister knew when she heard this, the spirit speaking through her in tongues, she immediately knew that she knew she that um, Jennifer was hearing from God. God was speaking through her and she was holding on to Jennifer to help her keep her strength because she knew that Jennifer was leading her in the right direction. Okay. I am still, she said that I'm still speaking in tongues in the dream. I understand that some of the words were Italian and she screamed a blood curdling scream and kept speaking in tongues. <coughs> Hold on. Okay. So what the Lord showed me with this was as she, you know, when you're speaking in tongues and when you're just praying and the Lord is beginning to show you something Sometimes he has you experience something so you can really, really feel and, and experience what's happening in the spirit. So the reason she screamed that blood curdling scream, she was sensing the dark, deep, dark, demonic presence that is about to come on this earth. Okay, so that is what was coming through with that scream of blood curdling horror oh, because that was her experiencing what's about to come on the earth okay 
Then she says, I stopped speaking and the scene changed, changed. Then she sees the written words on the stone wall. I knew immediately what that was. I didn't even have to think about it. Many, uh, the, there is, the wall clearly is reminiscent of the writing on the wall in Daniel chapter five. Many, many tackle a parson, which means God has numbered the days of your kingdom. Glory to God. Okay, so. Um, now she also noticed that everything was stirred up in the dream. So all these things, these crazy things are happening and she looked up, was stirred up and, and she looked it up and it means to feel strong emotion and a desire to do something. And then we also looked up the meaning of the elephant and it means great power, strength, nothing stops them. Never forget. So does that pretty much describe that dream? Him, you know, picking up the soldier and everything. Now, this is really crazy. So this morning, now, so it all kind of happened tonight. We, we realized what was going on. So Susan had just, as we were going over this dream, she found some articles that I'm going to discuss in a little bit about Myanmar, you know, the, the country Myanmar. And they right now, as we speak, there's a military coup, like as we speak. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. But so she mentions that and she looks up the um the symbol of Myanmar is a white elephant how crazy is that and so Dan, she says that and not even not even a second later Dan goes wait a minute I seriously had a white elephant come to my mind earlier today and I had no idea what it meant I mean wow this is what you call one accord in the body of Christ guys this is how God confirms each other absolutely amazing stuff okay so, um, then, um, I'm going to go with the other two parts in a minute, but then, um, in the dream, so everything was shaking, um, the elephant did its thing and then here's the next part. Okay. So we're going to skip ahead. So, um, then everyone was running away from the elephant, trying to hide a teenage girl runs into a large tent to hide from the elephant. She goes into an inner room with, a t with the tent and sits down. A young man comes in and sees her. And because the Lord was not angry with her, with either of them, he starts speaking to them gently. But, but then, then she wakes up. Okay, so under, there's a few things to really make sure you pay attention to. So the teenage girl goes in the tent and she goes into the inner room within the tent and sits down. Then the young man comes in and joins her. Okay. So now we're going to jump back to the beginning. So God showed me a whole picture of this whole dream. Okay. So at the beginning, she was in her grandmother's bedroom, the, the, the inner court, the safe place for her. Like that, that's the first safe spot in the inner court, in the, within the temple. Okay. Picture the temple. Okay. And remember, the temple used to be a tent in the Old Testament. That's why the tent part is so amazing. So the, her, the bedroom was representative of the inner court. It's where you begin to worship. That's you, where you begin to come to God, okay? And then it, it, towards the end of the dream, the teenage girl goes inside the tent to the Holy of Holies, the inner room within the tent. How amazing is that? So now they're going in the, in the Holy of Holies. And then I immediately knew the young girl, the young woman and the young man represent the first fruits. And they are going into the inner court because they have the, the um, um, that's the communication with God. That's remember that um, the sanctification um, all of that. It's all the sanctification process. So we've gotten sanctified. We're in the inner court. God, then the Lord begins to speak with them and she wakes up. And that's because she didn't need to hear that conversation because he is now speaking to us because we're about to go outside of time. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So exciting. So exciting. Um, okay. So now I'm going to skip down. Now there's a couple other things that came up. That were just other possibilities. Again, if you get anything in the spirit on this, please, please um, 
pop us over an email. Okay. Um, so, um, all right. And oh, by the way, it's grafted in team Jesus two, two, two at gmail.com. Okay. So, and this, and, uh, so this morning, Susan saw an article cause, um, what, uh, Jennifer and I had got talking the fact that she was speaking Italian, there was Roman soldiers. So we were thinking, um, you know, Vatican, Italy. Um, so there was a lot of things. Well, then Susan spots this, uh, this article called Italy permanently halts sales to Saudi Arabia. So we said, Hmm, Italy has halted the sale of thousands of missiles to Saudi Arabia and the UAE due to their involvement in the Yemen conflict, making permanent an 18 month sus temporary suspension. Uh, today I'm announcing that the government has revoked the uh, authorizations underway for the export of missiles and aircraft bombs to Saudi Arabia and the UAE, Italy's foreign, foreign minister, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So anyway, just, um, another weird connection, you know, we're like, so there was Italy and that article came up today. We thought that was pretty crazy. And then, um, Jennifer, Jennifer and I were also talking about the possibility that can also, it, the dream could also be representing the rise of the false prophet, the, um, Pope, the Pope being the false prophet, you know what I mean? Because there's obviously a power that's unstoppable. That's about to destroy something. Okay. Because of the elephant. So it's very possible. Maybe this is now where they're going to destroy Rome and there's several articles that she found talking about how the Pope already has a seat in Jerusalem, guys, in David's temple. There's already stuff going on that he, he the Vatican's take, took over Jerusalem many years ago. And they've, they've got all those churches there. They got so much take, that they've taken over there. It's crazy. So could this be announcing the coming of the false prophet? I mean, that's pretty huge. Um, and also they talked about a possibility that it's related to persecution, of course, because of how things were with the Roman soldiers and the, the people in Jesus time. So there's a lot of possibilities, but just wanted to throw it all out there. And if, like I said, if anybody has any thoughts on it, please uh, pop over an email. Again, it's grafted in team Jesus 222 at gmail.com. So that is it for this one, but everybody stay with me because we got some more, but thanks for listening to the video. God bless you. And as we always say, if we are still here, we will be back as the Lord leads. All right. Bye-bye.